an internal sense of knowing. You might call this intuition or your gut instinct, but we know things and we don't always acknowledge what we know. Sometimes it feels scary to acknowledge what we know. You know, maybe we really know our marriage is not working. We know it, like we could feel it every day. We live with it, but we won't admit it to ourselves because we're afraid of, of letting go of the marriage. Maybe you have a knowing about your job or your career and you, you have this internal sense that it's just not going anywhere or it's just not what you want but you're not acknowledging it because it feels difficult and scary to find a new job. It could be that you have this internal knowing that there's something wrong with you health-wise. I'm not talking about paranoia, but a real sense of, you know, something's off, or maybe you have a certain situation where you, um, you know, you, you can feel it. You can feel that there's something going on. And you have a sense about why that is, why that thing is happening with your health. The key here is to acknowledge it, to acknowledge your knowing. I don't care what you call it, intuition, gut instinct, anything. I don't care, just call it your knowing. It's that sense that you know something. I want you to acknowledge it because the more often that you acknowledge what you know, that little voice in your head telling you something or that feeling about something, the more you acknowledge it, the more you will get that kind of information back. You'll reinforce to that part of you that does know things that you want that information and you'll get more and more of it. So recently, uh, I, I've been having um, a small health issue and I went to a new doctor and I said, you know, I just get this sense that, you know, this issue is, is related to stress and to, um, to this other issue I'm having in my life with somebody, with a, with a relationship. And I just feel like, you know, it cropped up and didn't go away because I need to look at that. And this was a naturopath. Naturopaths are more likely to be mind, body, spirit oriented. And you know, she keyed right in on that. And she was like, well, if you know, if you know that, if you feel that you know that, that you're bringing that up, you're even mentioning it to me, then we really need to look at that because that's information that's important and that we need to look at because it's probably right. It was a nice confirmation for me. And sometimes that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a confirmation that what we think we know is true. We think we know there's a problem, but we're not sure. And interestingly, uh, somebody I know was having an issue recently with some, some people she works with. And, you know, she was saying, you know, I don't know why they were all like that. And, da, da, da. and I said, well, you know, maybe you need to look at how you behaved, like something you said to them or whatever. Oh, no, 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 that wasn't it. It's just them. And the more I tried to to have her look at it the less she wanted to. And till I said, well then, you know, I really don't know how to help you. Which to her was, you know, a, a sign that maybe she needed to readjust, to recalibrate her attitude about what I was saying. And you know what, she took a look and she said, you know, you're right. And, and I knew you were right. I knew that what you were saying was true, that it wasn't really about them, it was about me and what I had done and I needed to go repair that to make everything better. And so she knew it, she knew it down inside and sometimes we need to look at that when we're talking to, to people and we're blaming everyone outside us that we usually know that it's inside and that's kind of a sign when we start blaming everything outside we can be pretty sure there's something going on inside and so it's the same for instance with health with your health when you uh you know start talking about it being this or that or whatever there's something going on with you that's creating this problem right so i want you to start trusting what you know so i'd like you to get out a journal and to write down three things that you know I'm not talking about knowledge, like book knowledge, or you went to college and you know such and such, or you know um, that you have to eat three meals a day. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about some inner sense of knowing that you haven't been willing to look at. 
And then for the next five to seven days, I want you to write down every time you have that inner feeling, that inner sense about something, a knowing. I want you to write it down and I want you to acknowledge it. And whenever you can, try to prove that what you know is right. So whatever you can do to investigate, do that. So if it means going to a doctor, if it means going to a therapist or a coach, if it means talking to a friend, if it means talking to your boss, whatever it is, talk about it, bring it out, check it out, research it, see whether it's true, okay? Because that's how you're gonna reinforce your knowing. The more you get affirmations back, like I did from this doctor, that what I know is true, the more often you're going to know things. And that knowledge is gonna help you. It's gonna help you stay aligned and congruent. It's gonna help you do what you know you need to do. All right, because you know what you need to do <laughs> and we don't listen and we know it. That's a knowing too. I know I need to leave my job. I know I need to leave my marriage. I know I need to eat more, a more healthy diet. I know I need to exercise every day. I know I should drink more water. I know that uh, I need to create a better schedule for my days. Whatever it is, you know it and you're not listening. So. We're gonna to listen to our knowing, right? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna to listen to your knowing. You're gonna write down three things you know, three things you know right now. And then you're gonna watch for all those inner sense, senses of knowing in the next week and acknowledge them by writing them down in a journal, okay? I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. People know me as a certified high performance coach, an author coach, a blog coach. I do a lot of different things. But the one thing that I really love to do is help people get from where they are to where they want to go in life and in the world of publishing. Right now I want to talk about life because as I've been talking about, there's so much going on for us that we know, and it's hard for us to tap into that. And what high performance coaching does is it helps you get clarity on what you know. And then it helps you have the courage to take action, to be productive with your life in so many different ways, and to influence yourself and to influence others and to align with your purpose and fulfill that. Basically to achieve your highest potential and to step into your best self. If that's something that you feel you need to do right now so that you can be happier, so that you can live more enthusiastically, boldly, joyously, then fill out my free application at ninaamir.com forward slash free session. ninaamir.com forward slash free session. There's a link at the end of the video. It's not clickable, but you'll see it. You can click, go to that link, forward, ninaamir forward slash free session, fill out the application and send it to me. And we'll get on the phone if we're a good fit. If I think we're a good fit, then I will get on the phone with you or on Zoom or on Skype and we will have an hour to hour and a half conversation about high performance. And we'll talk about clarity, energy, courage, productivity and influence. We'll see where you are in these areas and I'll give you some tips you can use right away. Now keep in mind, this is a session for you and I to meet each other. See if we're a good fit to work together. So if you're serious about hiring a certified high performance coach, this is the next step for you to take. Fill out the application, let's meet, talk, see if we're a good fit to work together. I'll tell you all about my program, but you're gonna walk away with actionable items from that first session, I promise you, okay? So that's it for today. Listen to your knowing, and until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.